Thok is back. 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 For about a year now, there have been so many switches out in the market that have a long pole, resulting in clacky sounding switches. And when you put them in modern keyboards, they result in But there have been a few outliers, like our switch today. It's the Duhok Lumia Matcha V4 Pro. And this switch has more than one thing you have to look out for. But first, a bit of a disclaimer. Uniki sent this switch over for an honest and unbiased review. And that's what we're going to do here today. First impressions of these switches is that they look like they're good enough to eat. Or drink. Or whatever you do with matcha. Yes, I am looking at you, matcha addicts. Peanut butter! Matcha. It also feels smooth AF because these switches are hand lubed. Now, don't ask me how they did it, but they do feel really smooth. But I'm sure it's more than just because of the lubing. But how good are these actually? Let's take the switch apart and find out. For the housing, both the top and the bottom housing is made out of LY. Let's talk about this for a sec. The LY material is now the smoothest plastic used in switches. LY has a coefficient of friction of 0.02 compared to POM, which is at 0.3. If you don't know, the higher the coefficient of friction, the less smooth the material will be. And LY is known to be a very deep sounding material. By the way, are you guys Team Clack or Team Thok? Let me know in the comments down below and subscribe while you're there. It helps the channel a lot. For the spring, it's a 22mm extended double stage spring that you can choose between a 55 gram force or 62.5 gram force. Currently, we have the 62.5 gram version and this is slowly becoming my favorite spring configuration. I am loving the heavy snaps. Finally, we have the stem, which is made out of an unknown plastic just given the serial number TC308 by the manufacturer DuPont. But let's see how this hand lubing is because this is the first switch that I have ever reviewed that is hand lubed and not just factory lubed. Let's hear how it sounds.
Conclusion This switch feels really smooth to type on. The hand lubing done really feels equal through every switch. You don't get the watery splashing of an over lube that you sometimes get out of a factory lubed switch. You could definitely get away with just using these right out of the box. So is Thok really back? Well let me tell you, this switch is really setting a new standard for Thoki switches. So yes, it is back. For those who know me and know that I prefer clackier switches, I honestly wouldn't mind keeping these as a daily driver. Overall, the switches are really great value for 18 Philippine pesos or 0.31 USD per piece. These are switches I could see go out of stock as quick as they restock. So get them now before the hype begins. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. And if you haven't seen my other videos, I have keyboard tutorials on my uncapped series, which you should definitely check out. And you should definitely subscribe as well. And I hope you have a great day. See ya!